Hi again, this is Kim Gentis, and I have another song to throw at you. This one goes way back uh, into the archives. I think it's from something like 1991 or maybe 90, but it's uh, an old song uh, by a guy named Brian Thiessen. And this one is in G, so it's a nice guitar key, um, and it does a lot of uh, hammer-ons and uh, hammer offs actually. And it's called I Give Thanks. The, the, the cool thing about this song is it's, 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 it's upbeat. You can do it rock style, you can do it country style. You can, uh, you can actually make this song uh, do pretty much anything you want because it's got some just some fun guitar parts to it. The, the part I'm going to show you is the verse part and, and then we'll just kind of cruise through it a little bit uh, so you can see how that can be applied. But Basically, it goes like this. Now that that particular part is is simply starts off with a G. So I'm just plucking that G um, on the E string, the low E string. I'm plucking, and then I'm going down like that. And then, I, and then I'm going to come up and hit the uh, hammer on with the uh, A string, but, but where where my uh, index finger is coming down on the B. So that'll be the hammer on. So it goes. Notice that the second thing I'm, uh, the third thing I'm doing then after the hammer on on the on the B there is I'm going to hammer on on the C. So it goes like that. The last thing that I'm doing in that progression is starting with a D suspended, going to a D, going to a D2, and then back to a D. So it's like that. in for the song. lets you go through um, repeating the use of those those uh, those progressions in uh, in other parts in the chorus and so forth and that's actually the verse the, the chorus even gets uh, gets funner so try it out I give thanks by Brian Thiessen hopefully those uh, couple of guitar parts will uh, help you get it done <laughs>